Hi there, my name is Logan aka Spiderhands and welcome to SP Reviews, where today we're checking out a selection of tracks from an artist named Hi there, my name is Post Production Logan and in the original cut of this review I mispronounced this guy's name. Apparently, I have been told it's Ehyal Ehrlich. So I'm going to be listening to some music from a guy named Ehyal Ehrlich. Let's continue. But this guy here has sent me, th uh, sent me through a few tracks to check out. And we're going to do this. We're going to switch over to to oh, to oh here. <laughs> and uh, we're going to look at this first one titled Wish I Knew. Wow. And uh, yeah, just before we get started, these are some live performances. And I'm looking forward to seeing how he goes. Really beautiful, pretty guitars. What a talent, man. Oh yeah, the volume is up, that's good. And this one's called I Wish I Knew, if I didn't say that before. Everything sounds really well mixed. I wish I knew how to say yeah, in love with you. The guy has a really soft voice, doesn't he? The sound engineer was doing a good job with this as well, man. Like, I mean, look at that. Let's just take a moment to look at this guy's setup at the moment. Look, he's got like a, like a, is that a grand piano with, with the, the full drum kit inside? This guy's in a pretty decently sized hall, isn't he? Or is this a recording studio? I don't know, but either way. Like, like, what I mean is, is this one of the recording studios where like you can get audiences in to like check out materials or something like that? That drum is really tight as well. I'm gonna put my mouse down there. There we go. Come on, mouse. There we go. It's a bit sad. It's the same song's a bit sad, isn't it? Just listening to the lyrics there. The songwriting's on point, though. Everything is positioned really well. Nothing's clashing with, with each other, you know. I mean, it's got like an A, B, A, B verse chorus kind of feel to it, like a structure, but um... There's so much happening in terms of what the uh, individual instrumentalists are doing that it keeps it sort of interesting. I got a bit of an instrumental bit here, it's quite nice. I feel like I'm actually watching a live show right now, it's, it's great. I mean, I am, but you know, like through, like, through a monitor, you know what I mean. It's great to see them interacting on stage. That's awesome. I don't know, like, if this is like, if if this is the the the, the group name, or if it's the guy's name. But uh, it's all right. We're gonna. Ch oh. Oh, what's happening here? So I think he might be a solo artist. Right. I understand now. The guy can play the guitar. Ooh, this is pretty. I like this. So he's got some stylistic consistency across these recordings so far. I'm assuming this is more of a an actual like studio recording. Let's go. Good look. look. So much happening with that guitar, though, dude. How does he manage to play guitar like that whilst also singing? These fingerstyle guitarists who sing as they play, like, consistently astound me with it, how clever they are. It's got like a country kind of blues feel to it, you know what I mean? Oh, 
Quebra pra Chant. Whoa. That's some dexterity right there. That is not easy stuff to do. And I like the reverb as well on the on the, on the vocals there. Like it sounds like he's a. Uh, it sounds like the sound engineers really knew what they were doing with this guy. Oh, so fragile, dude. Such a fragile, such a fragile kind of nature to the vocals. The guy's obviously spent a lot of time working on his technique. That's a cool but melody, melodic choice there. Cool, good. It don't seem right. Oh, that's that's a fit. That, hang on, what's happening here with that? With those bass lines? What's happening with those chord progressions there? That was unexpected. I talk from a musical standpoint. That was intriguing. That was not what I was expecting, especially this close to the end of the song. What is happening here, dude? That's creative. That's just playing with the listener's expectations. I enjoy that. Thank you. Thank you, Eyal Ehrlich. Ehrlich. Gotta... Gotta be, I gotta be careful. I don't want to offend any... <laughs> I don't want to offend anyone, you know? Like... But that was really cool. That was really cool, right? We're gonna check out number three. Pain. This is very different. I mean, you know it's different because you're listening to it, but you know, I... Oh, those arpeggios are, are, are really... Oh, that's a, that's a spicy change up. Now that's clever as well how that intertwines with the vocals. This guy should be bigger than he is. If he's not, like, like when we look at these YouTube views, this guy should be far bigger than he is. This guy's got some serious talent, dude. I'm not making that up. This guy's got some serious chops. Because there's so much, so many cool little things happening here that separate him from a lot of the different acoustic tracks I've heard from like bigger artists. Like that is a cool chord. And that kind of color to his voice is, is just so welcome. It matches what he's singing about. Everything is in tune with each, each other. It's such a mature way of writing music. Like, the, the music is very vocal-led, as you can tell by some of the interesting time signatures. Maybe, may... There's no reason to be phobic of... Oh. Oh. That wasn't because I thought that was bad. That just took me as a surprise. There was such intensity into the track. That kind of made the ending a bit more poignant. Pain pleasure. All right, so this is back to another live performance. <laughs> That's a cool kind of uh, effect that going on with that lead guitar there. Hurts, 
It's got a really, it's got a, it's got a real 90s rock kind of vibe to it. 90s kind of indie rock kind of vibe to it, this whole entire sort of setup. And there's nothing wrong with that, I think that's really cool. Ooh, got some high, high kind of acoustic chords going on there. I'm surprised that he didn't get himself a cutaway or something like that, like an, like an acoustic electric cutaway guitar. There's such control over the way he uses his vocal vocal cords. And like, it's not just being able to sing, but also using your... But also using your throat as an instrument is not an easy thing to do, but he manages to do it. It's got a kind of a groove to it, I like that. Oh, nice, I like that, man. It's got a bit- this is probably the groovier of the track so far. Ooh, nice. Got some tom play on the drums. Ooh. I, I honestly, I wonder if these guys are part of the band and those were just acoustic performances and the recordings or whether they are like session musicians because they play very well. They're so tight. I really hope they're like that band because these guys really, I mean, don't get me wrong, like, AL plays guitar really well and he also sings really well, but I like the dynamic of having these other guys involved as these guys are also really other good, other really good musicians. Yeah, how does he get that high with his falsetto, dude? That's neat. This guy's got some bad singing chops. I've enjoyed lis listening to these, 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 hey, these, these are cool. This is a cool little selection. That, but that kick is just boom, 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 boom. Okay, we're fading out now, are we? Oh, good, clever, clever. Nice to shift in the dynamics there. Oh. Well done, everyone. Well done, everyone. That was a good finish. That was very tight. I can tell these guys aren't beginners because of stuff like that. Because, oh, you would not believe the amount of bands I've seen that have played live. And they have not finished at the same time. And it's just been awkward. It's so great to see professional musicians. Oh, we're already getting into Mother Eternal. Uh, not a massive fan of how YouTube, you, you, you turn onto a page and it will just suddenly start it. And it's like, YouTube, chill. I don't want you to start playing straight away. <laughs> I need a chance to put this in full screen, you know? But yeah. I've got piano now. Oh, he's playing piano? What? He's good. Oh, he's a good pianist. That sounds really, really classy, dude. Sleet and the lady, beautiful child. That's a that's a cool sort of harmonic shift there. Me, you must feel 
Ooh, very interesting. Good. Shifting to the major there. Alright, got a bit of tension there. Resolved? Yep, resolved. Oh. Okay. Alright, we're going to this one. Alright, that's cool. This is this is intriguing. This is one of the more kind of Okay, so we're back to a verse now. Carry her in my arms, make her my wife. Good sort of wordplay there, I like that. Oh, what's gonna happen now though? Oh, getting more sort of gentle. Ooh. Ooh, what's happening? Whoa, what is that guitarist doing, dude? Ooh, that's clever. Yeah, they know how to play to the mood. Oh, so, so polished. And back into the verse, verse of the chorus? This is this through composed, I suppose, where it just has a verse, and then the verse, and then the verse. Was like a kind of a and this I mean obviously this is a ballad right it's a very effective one I'm really glad that I got to check out these songs today I really am because because I just I haven't really heard or seen a band like this before. Sleep, and I know that makes me sound really naive, and I know I'm a music reviewer, and I know that I've seen a... I've heard a whole lot of different bands over the last while, but... Like, it's just... It's just so refreshing to see a band... Um... That I'm sort of been check, asked to check out a review, where they're this professional about it and it's just such a privilege to be able to check out music like this Sleep, beautiful child. it just feels like a unique experience every time i get to i get asked to sort of pay attention to to music like this you know it is a privilege It's just so well done. These these guys should be bigger than they are. They should be bigger than they are. And it, it kind of... It verges on being irritating to me that they aren't. And I hope that these guys can get to a point, E.L. Ehrlich can get to a point where he's able to really start doing big shows and showcase his music to... The, the masses because he deserves it he this this group have obviously put a heck of a lot of time into their craft and they need a break 
You know, they need to have that break to be able to take it to the next level. What's this? Baby, your waves made my shore. Your waves made me sure. You're nothing to ignore. I've been alone. I've been an island in the sea. I'm turned stone, I've been discreet You've come to me with what I don't want to see And I can't speak and I can't leave oh, Hey! Gorgeous That was what needed to happen there. That was beautiful harmonization right there. It was angelic. Mmm, nah, nah, hit me deep, dude. And back to the softness. These words brought you round the common ground we found. I've been a saint, I've killed the devil in between I've been a martyr for a dream You've come to me The singer sounds so sad in this one though, you know? And I can't wait, can't wait to Sounds stand. so sad There's a grief in what I can sort of gather from what I'm listening to right now. I don't think there's a lot more in terms of new comments that I can make about the way that Iala's playing or his his singing. I mean, it sounds. I say this a fair bit, but this guy has a similar kind of vocal style to the guy from the Black Keys and this sort of more acoustic stuff. And that's a compliment, because, I mean, the, the Black Keys are huge, dude. And um, I, 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 I'm loving that there is a prominence of this kind of music coming out in terms of more, more sort of modern recordings. Because it was, there wasn't a lot of it in the mid-2000s. And then in 2010s, after the sort of EDM movement, people started making this stuff again. And it's, 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 it's soothing, you know? Your cherry silk still coats me thin You throw me off like a rock to a roast link I can't breathe and I can't sink Already And back to a chorus? Cool. Effective chorus. Memorable. I can't really fault it, to be honest. Solid playing. Solid. Overall, a really solid performance. I don't in the least bit regret checking out EL today. Because that was already in. So we've checked out six tracks today from EL Ehrlich. And I have to admit, I have to admit that I'm impressed by what I've heard today for several reasons. The, the, the most important being that he gave it his all. 
without fault. A hundred percent. He was right in for the whole entire journey that we went through today. There was no point where I felt like he thought that he was better than or more important than the music that he was making. He let the music speak for itself. But at the same time, I love the fact that I, I love the fact that this guy has put the work into his craft. And I love the fact that he also got other people on board to help him out when he, need, he needed a drums or he needed the bass. He wasn't too proud to go, no, I, he, he, tr he, he had it. Here's a big band. He's, he's, he's just as good on his own as he is with his band. And I don't actually think that adding a bassist or a drummer to, to a song like Already In would really add too much to it, which just shows even more why EL is so qualified um, as a professional musician. And I really wish for the best for this guy, and as well as the, his, his bandmates. I hope they continue to write more music. I continue, they hope, to experiment with their style and develop what they're doing. They're already so skilled they're already so so well organized they already communicate so well on stage you can tell they've been together for a while and if they haven't they're astounding they got some chemistry on stage that i don't see from many professional bands they didn't seem forced they just seemed like the, they were respectful of each other and i really dig that which is why i enjoy watching live performances because it's one thing to listen to a band in a studio after they've had three months to record the same guitar line a hundred times but it's another thing to see how they play live and these guys are just as tight live as they are in a studio so well done well done to them and well done to you for sitting through this review um, hopefully you enjoyed it hopefully you enjoyed el's music um, hopefully I haven't completely butchered the pronunciation of e Eel's name. Um, please do check out some more of Eel's tunes if you do get the chance. I have a feeling he's been around for a while considering, again, just everything about what we've listened to today. He, uh, I think he's got a future as well as um, the rest of his team. Hopefully you have a fantastic day. Please remember to support your local musicians as they need it at this point in time more than ever. Um, and stay cool. Stay safe during this uh, crazy time. And uh, thank you very much again for the privilege of um, being able to do these reviews. Spider hands out.